This is a guide for completing all the challenges in the Terminus mission in Hitman Absolution. Whilst you are completing all the challenges I suggest you play in the normal difficulty and later on when you complete the final run of this mission play in the purest difficulty to get the maximum amount of score. For the Chameleon challenge you just have to find and take all the disguises that are available in this mission. So the um, cleaner outfit was just at the start on the table. Here you can just get any guard really. I decided I failed a mission at some stage, I wasn't supposed to be spotted, so I just decided to take him out and take the uh, guard's disguise. Um, there's only three disguises in this area anyway. Now the last disguise is the electrician's disguise. I decided to take out the guard that's uh, down here with me. I probably could have done that a little bit better. And uh, then you can just subdue the electrician. You can also just wait for the guard not to be near. And then it doesn't matter either way. You can also take out the electrician if you don't want to. If you don't mind losing a little bit of score. The suit only challenge requires you to complete the mission only wearing the suit. And uh, usually I just like to do that by shooting everyone. You can just go through the front door, call the elevator and go in it. Up here, just lure them away or shoot them either way from the window and then use the little ledge there to get to the 8th floor, throw it out of the window, pull this guy through once you follow the ledges and then just go through the uh, door that leads to the exit. The An Evening in Paradise challenge requires you to grab a movie reel and then play it. So the movie reel that I decided to take was up here. There's another one in the floor below this one, but uh, this one is closer to the actual projector. In here, wait for the two guards to have stopped talking while well, have left, play the movie, and then you will have completed the An Evening in Paradise challenge. The housekeeping challenge requires you to take out 10 guards whilst wearing the cleaner outfit, or the janitor outfit I should probably say, and remain undetected. So at the start you just saw me throw out that guy through the window and then <laughs> throw the wrench to get a couple more guys over here and uh, also hide their bodies through the um, through throwing them out of the window. Now it does say 11 for me but I'm pretty sure it's 10. So wait for the guy in here to have gone out and then you can take out one of the guards that stays in here and uh, just make sure you hide his body and the next guard is leaning out. Uh, this is actually the guard we had to wait for. Um, to leave and make sure you hide his body too. The next couple of guards are going to be taken out over here, just for a bottle there and uh, a guard will show up and hide his body and repeat the same process, find another bottle which is out in the um, elevator room and then throw it in the same place and uh, another guy will show up and you can hide his body <laughs> in the um, closet cabinet here too. Next I found another guard that was looking out of the window and uh, that's what happens to that, those people. Pull the pin out from the piano and a guy will come to investigate and take him out and throw him out of the window. And uh, this is actually the last guy, just take him out. This is actually the tenth guy I took out and that's when I completed the challenge. See it says 11 out of 11 even though it own, should only be 10 out of 11 yet. It sort of pops up twice. I think the challenge is a bit buggy. Anyway, uh, it's completed regardless. So. Next is the Don't Disturb challenge which is to complete the mission without killing or passing firing anyone. Actually the previous guide I did for this video, uh, for this mission I should say, um, uh, does that. I pick up the uh, janitor disguise and then go through without actually killing or subduing anyone. So if you, uh, if you don't know how to complete this mission, uh, this challenge, I suggest that you click on the both the videos on the um, on the screen right now. They will open in new windows, so you can just return back to this video after you've watched those. The electrician part one requires you to wear the electrician outfit and kill an enemy with a screwdriver. You can actually kill the um, staff, and anyone will do really. And um, <laughs> if you don't want to be detected, to get keep going, just uh, make sure you get one that isn't sort of in plain sight. Electrician part 2 uh, requires you to throw screwdrivers at enemies and remain unseen, actually five of them. So just uh, pick up the, the electrician outfit and throw the, keep throwing the screwdriver at, uh, at people. So here I just decided to um, 
make that guard walk out over there and then throw the screwdriver at him. You can actually pick up the screwdriver by going up to the bodies and pressing F. And uh, the last guard that I chose was uh, inside. And uh, as long as you remain undetected, so you don't uh, get the spotted uh, notification, then it doesn't matter, even if the guards are alerted. The last few challenges are actually all completed if you follow the purest uh, walkthrough that I did for both these um, both these missions. So, inside job requires you to go f from level seven to level eight using a specific path. The man from South Dakota just requires you to complete the um, complete the mission. Infiltrator requires you to complete the mission without being spotted. Evidence collector requires you to complete the mission and uh, recover all the evidence. And Hall Pass uh, requires you to be in the uh, janitor outfit, cleaner outfit, and uh, not be spotted and uh, just complete the mission whilst wearing it. Just uh, as far as I can tell, all you have to do. After you've completed all the challenges, you can expect 18,900 points from the Terminus Hotel part and 34,650 points from the Upper Floors part which gives a total of 53,550 points. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time...